Hello, thank you for clicking on part B. This is the uh, post pellet B exam video. And on the first video, I told you to uh, check into reading the Wall Street Journal and visiting bookstores um, to read the entry level police officer, sheriffs, California High Patrol, etc. exams. Um, in this video, I want to kind of tell you a little bit more about where you can find information, such as the website for post. If you go online, to post p o s t dot c a dot g o v for gov so post dot c a dot g o v um, this is the website for post post stands for peace officers standards and training this is the agency in california that controls all police academies and all peace officer certifications so um, you know if you're watching this video obviously you're interested in uh, becoming a police officer sheriff's deputy traffic enforcement officer or other law enforcement position that requires a police academy so you want to take the post pellet B and you like where to get information the first step obviously is their website and if you search for post pellet B it will give you several locations where you can get examples of what the post pellet B exam will be testing you on so uh, you know do peruse through there there's also if I'm not mistaken there's some downloadable uh, samples test samples that you can take on there um, some of my students have attended the Alameda um, Sheriff's Department Academy orientation and during that orientation um, this is about a year ago uh, they basically met with the students and told them you know what to expect during the hiring process and they also handed out some uh, post pellet B exam packets so that they can kind of have an idea what to expect and I believe those packets came from the uh, California uh, Peace Officer Standards and Training the post website and this is free information so you don't have to pay any money basically access this information online um, I also believe that uh, well, at least I'm being told that if you go to an agency uh, a local police agency there's, there's giving the post pellet B exam once you get a letter from them saying that you've passed the post pellet B exam, you can then take that letter and uh, show it to other agencies that are requiring that as part of the entry level test, and then they will be able to accept that. So it's not like you go take it to one agency, it's only specific for that agency. No, the post pellet B score should be able to be accepted by several agencies, so you don't have to repeat the test. Uh, looking online a few days ago, I know there's a ton of law enforcement positions. I believe over 30,000 currently in California. So if you're looking for a job in, in California, I've never seen it this good. And I have over 20 years of law enforcement experience. So um, uh, looking through the website, I saw one agency that said if you uh, have graduated from a police academy, that you are not required to uh, take the post pellet B as part of the entry level for that agency. I believe I was looking into uh, San Diego Police Department for one of the uh, my students that had asked me to get some information for him. So uh, be aware of that. So the post website, great source of information. Um, number two, obviously we just talked about this. If you take the test with one agency, once they give you a letter and it'll be dated, hey, on such and such date, you pass the test and your score was such and such, so congratulations, you passed the score. And I mentioned this in my part A, that if you have a score of 48 or higher, then you've passed the test. Obviously, anything under 48, you're not passing, and then you'll have to check, uh, if you didn't pass the test the first time, when is the next date coming up? So, uh, as always, I'm telling you right now, focus on your goals. If you're uh, looking to get into a law enforcement position, California right now is the place to be. Um, great cities, great pay. Uh, look around. Uh, I believe there's close to 300 agencies in California alone that you can get a job as a police officer or deputy sheriff. As with any of my videos, I'm going to try to keep it short, under five minutes. Leave me some comments uh, for me or uh, include your email and then I will reach out to you if I can help you or support you in your career endeavors. I'm here to do that. Okay? Hope that was helpful and if you have any other ideas for videos with my 20 plus years experience, and also working as a college professor, I think that I can really help you, guide you through the way. All right? Talk to you soon and be safe.